Right, Applied GCSE Science, Unit 1, Neutralisation. Neutralisation, especially when done with titration, is one of the most important industrial processes that there is in chemistry. Many, many, many industries employ scientists or invest a huge amount of money in automatic systems that actually measure the concentration of the chemicals they're using, using titration, simple titrations. What you're going to see now, and what you're going to do over the next couple of days, is exactly the same as what happens in these industries. So the first thing that you need is a retort stand, and you put on a clamp. Now this is a double clamp, two pins here and here, so it can hold two objects. All we're going to use is one burette. The burette sits in there, like that. So you open the clamp, you put that in there, the burette is held. You can see the burette goes, is numbered, and it goes from 0 to 50. This is a 50 mil burette. It has a tap at the bottom here. The tap at the moment is closed when it's across like that. When you want to open the tap, so any liquid that's in here can come out, you simply turn it. If you turn it gently, you can actually control what comes out to one single drop at a time. So for accuracy, this is an excellent piece of equipment. What we're going to do is, we're going to fill this with hydrochloric acid. Now to fill it, what you have to do is, you have to get this zero, you must fill the burette right to here. This should be at the eye level and you fill right up to the zero line. You will see when you do this a meniscus. A meniscus is a curved surface on the liquid and we'll show you in a minute but the bottom of the meniscus must be on the line. So you get yourself a funnel I will move out of your way and you carefully pour into here your hydrochloric acid. A little bit more. Now, if you could see, you would see that if that is the zero line, the air bubble settle. If that is the zero line, I've gone over the zero. That isn't a problem. It's not a major issue because all I do now, sorry, nearly, all I do now is gently turn this so that we lose the liquid. It's dropping slowly, ever so slowly. There we go, down to zero. Okay, so the curve of the meniscus is resting on the zero line. Now this contains acid, I just put it to one side. Now that I've filled this, I move that away, and I get my next piece of apparatus. This is a pipette, and if I show you the pipette, this is a 0 to 25 mil pipette. Again, small markings. Each individual marking is 0.2 of a mil. It's a fraction of a mil. All right. This is a pipette filler. This one unfortunately doesn't seem to be working. But what you do is you fill with this, you move this wheel and this will come up. 